What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Breakdown. Uh, if this is your first time joining us each week, we get together and we just talk about what God was teaching us uh, in this week's message. I uh, mean, uh, this is Lyndon, by the way. So, Lyndon, this Hi, was everyone. an awesome message yes, from Pastor Robbie on grief and suffering. Uh, I texted him. This was quite possibly the best message I've ever heard on grief and on suffering. So if you haven't checked out the message yet, I want to encourage you to go back and check that out. Uh, but, uh, Lyndon, you're going to read the passage for us. So sure. right before this passage, Jesus here about his cousin John the Baptist being killed uh, and then we get to this passage and then just the rest of the the message just really <laughs> impacted me in a lot of ways that we're going to talk about so let's read that for us Mark yeah. 6 30 through 34 yep the apostles gathered around Jesus and reported to him all that they had done and taught he said to them come away by yourselves to a remote place and rest for a while for many people were coming and going and they did not even have time to eat so they went away in a boat by themselves to a remote place, but many saw them leaving and recognized them. And they ran on foot from all the towns and arrived ahead of them. When they went ashore, he saw a large crowd and had compassion on them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Then he began to teach them many things. So here we have Jesus in the midst of this grief and this suffering as he has just lost his cousin. Uh, and then he immediately goes and he sees this crowd, he ministers to them, he has compassion on them. Uh, and Pastor started off the message this week talking about how our highest highs can be interrupted by our lowest of lows. So Jesus at the, you know, in the middle of his ministry is going through suffering and going through this amazing, these amazing ministry moments. Uh, and I think that's true in my life. That <laughs> It seems like every, all the highest of highs and the lowest of lows seem to happen at the same time. So I, I don't know, what what's maybe one thing that stood out to you in this week's message? Yeah, I, I think that's so true. I think when, um, when I was watching this last service, I felt the Holy Spirit heavily on, mm -hmm. this, on this message. Um, and I'm so glad that we got to hear it and we get yeah. to talk about it. Um, one thing that came to my mind first when uh, he first said this first point, our highest calling or to be interrupted by our lowest lows, is um, back in 2018, um, the day before Thanksgiving, my granddaddy passed away. Oh. And um, of course we know Thanksgiving as a time to uh, come together and it's a happy time and we get to share stories, but that Thanksgiving was just not that at all. Um, it was a time of grievance and right. um, it just completely distracted us from thankfulness that we're supposed mm -hmm. to be celebrating. Um, and that was, it was tough. It took it took a while for me to grieve that. Um, I for all you Enneagram buffs out there, I'm an Enneagram seven. Oh yeah. I am world's best at deflecting. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I learned through that yeah. that deflecting is actually distraction right. and it oh, is damaging. Goodness. And yeah. um, I it it hit me hard. Yeah. And I'm it took sorry a while. about that. That yeah. is that is so hard. Thank I you. Um, this past week, I did a funeral for my stepmom's dad, mm -hmm. and uh, and funerals are just tough yeah. and there's something that the lord gave me a couple a couple funerals ago when i was preparing and, and i try to use it in all of them now but uh, he just reminded me or made me realize that i do this really unhealthy thing with my feelings where i just shove them down yep. and i don't feel them i put a smile on my face yep. and i just push through and it's like i think i have to be the strong one for everybody else yep. but what i've learned is that every time i do that the feelings tend to come back up yeah. you know worse than they ever were before and as we read through scripture, we see that Jesus grieved, mm -hmm. Jesus was angry, Jesus suffered, Jesus understands everything that we've been through. Mm -hmm. So it's okay to feel what we feel. Like it's okay to grieve. It's okay to be angry. It's okay yeah. to have big questions for God. He's a big God. I think he mm -hmm. can handle them. Um, but I think it's also important to know that because Jesus understands our feelings, that our feelings are safe with Jesus. Absolutely. Which is a huge thing that, that the Lord has just been doing in my own life. Mm -hmm. um, and, and we see throughout this passage as well that um, that Jesus, I mean, that's something Pastor talked about. Jesus understands how we feel. Yeah. One uh, passage that came to mind when he first said that was mm -hmm. John eleven thirty five, And even though it is the shortest verse in the yeah. Bible, it's one of my favorites. And it's just Jesus wept. Right. Jesus is as fully human as we are um mm -hmm. and he like andrew said he uh he grieves too he cries and he calls out right. to god just as much as we do just as hard as we do yeah um and i think that is just so important to know even though he jesus was fully man and fully god he has the same emotions that we do mm -hmm. um and even though he might 
know more than us and he didn't have as many questions as we did he felt them just as hard and right. just as much as we do yeah you know i think one thing i've learned through suffering is i tend to ask why god why absolutely why me why us why our family why are we going through this um and as i've grown and matured i haven't really gotten the answer for all those whys yep. but what i have grown to understand is that god is sovereign mm -hmm. and god's ways Amen. are not my ways and he sees something I don't see. And in the midst of my suffering, he is doing something in me and chipping something away that shouldn't be there, forming me to look more like him. Yeah. Um, and I think about, you know, my three boys and I love them and, and I'm going to ask them to do things they don't always want to do. I'm going to discipline them sometimes when, when they don't do what they should do. And that's because I love them. And because yeah. I see something in them they may not see, I want something for them that I want them to become men who are respectful and loved. Mm -hmm. Like, so I discipline them because of that. And I'm not saying we go through suffering because God is disciplining us. But what I am saying is that That's I good. think God sees what we don't see. Mm -hmm. And I can say from experience that every time I've suffered, I have seen God move the most of my life. That's good. And, and I know that, that he is always at work and I have to remember like in the, in the darkest of seasons, mm. to cling to what I knew was true in the light. So in the yeah. good times, it's easy to know that God loves us and he yeah. is gracious and he is kind and, and all these things. But Scripture talks about how God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Mm -hmm. He never changes. It's good. So even in the dark, we have to cling to what we knew was true in the light. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, Pastor referenced this in mm -hmm. the message, but he referred back to Job and how he went through all these trials yeah. and tests and conversations with his friends for almost 40 chapters. Right. <laughs> and even though his friends were tempting him to blame God and mm -hmm. ask all, all these questions that were um, in not good spirit, Job right. carried on. Um, and I just think that is so telling to his character and how we should be too. Yeah. You know, I was talking, Jenny and I, my wife, were talking to a lady yesterday who, who works here at church with us. And they're, they're just going through some suffering, man. I mean, it's, it's easy to think sometimes that, pastors, people who work at church and stuff, their life is perfect, right? Yeah. And they got it all figured out. And that is not the case, no. y'all. Like it, like we are normal people and we have hard things that go on in life. And we were talking to this, this lady and she was just talking about all the suffering they're walking through. And it was so just, uh, I mean, we've been through stuff as well. So, I mean, it's, it was hard to hear what she's walking through, but then she brought up Job mm -hmm. and she brought up how God said, to Satan, hey, why don't you consider my servant Job? Yeah. And she circled back to, I love her perspective, man, God would see me worthy to be mm. tested in this wow. way. I'm like, man, that wow. is one way to look at suffering that I don't know that I, that's not, that's not my first go-to to look at it that way, but what a beautiful perspective that, okay, God, like you, you see something in me, you know something mm. more than I do, yeah. and you're going to see me through this. Mm -hmm. Any, anything else stand out to you in the, the message? Um, I just love that reference of Job, honestly. Mm -hmm. It is, it's one of my favorite books uh, in the Old Testament and just overall. Um, I think it's just so telling and it's uh, just a timeless story yeah. and just really great to look back on, especially if you are in a time of grievance. Yeah, so hey, if you haven't read that, you can go and you can read the story of Job uh, in the book of Job. So God made that pretty easy for you. Uh, <laughs> look in the front of your Bible, you can find it. Uh, but I wanna encourage you with this as we close. I wanna encourage you to feel what you feel okay mm -hmm. i think that's something as believers we we we're not very good at because yeah. we just want to press on we want to put on a fake mask or whatever the case may be mm. feel what you feel uh talk to somebody about it know that your feelings are safe with jesus uh, i heard a quote yesterday i wish i could remember who said it because i'd love to give them credit so i'll just give <laughs> myself credit but uh <laughs> they said that if you don't address your wounds you'll bleed on people that didn't cut you Ooh. So think about that for a second. So there are things in our lives that have happened that are hurtful. Yeah. And if we don't address those, I've seen this, I, I have things unaddressed and I just, mm. that spills out on everybody else. And that's the, God doesn't want that for me. And God doesn't mm. want those for other people as well. So feel what you feel, know that your feelings are safe with Jesus and that he mm -hmm. understands what you're walking through. All right, y'all. That was a great conversation. Thank I you, I think Linda. so too. Thank that you, Andrew. Fun, fun time. All right, y'all. <laughs> thank you for joining us. And we'll see you next week on The Breakdown. See y'all. Thank <laughs> you.